Pokemon Duel Trainers. We got a buff to White Kyrum and Black Kyrum. Stay tuned. It's showtime. We could be. What's up, trainers? It's your host, Professor Showtime here with another entertaining, with another exciting, with another episode of Pokemon Duel. Boom! Back at it like Pokemon Duel Addicts, and boy, do I got a show for you guys. Now, guys, check it out. The developers just dropped another bombshell on us. Another bombshell on us. We're getting an update, a major update, and I'm loving it. So check it out. Like, the, like I've been saying for the past couple of updates, like the devs are really getting it right, you know? I know I got a lot of heat for saying it before, but you guys are seeing what I'm speaking about now. So, the devs are not just going about in the, the business of just power creeping, right? And for those of you guys who don't know, power creeping means that um, the develop, developers are just making new figures just so you can purchase them because they're better than the older figures. They're not just doing that. Instead, they're going back and looking at older figures or other figures or non-newer figures and they're giving those figures a buff also. Case in point, the last the last banner we got an update to Ho-Oh and Mega Sceptile. Who knew? Nobody saw uh, Mega Sceptile getting a buff and no one definitely saw Ho-Oh getting a buff. You know, so and those two figures um became a lot more usable, mostly Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh went from never ever ever seen play to pretty much in ever every fire deck. Not to mention it actually made five it actually helped really cement and make fire decks viable. So who's next? Who's next to get an update? The next figure to get an update is the white and black caroms. Boom! So let's go over let's go over them really really quickly. For those of you guys who are sleeping under a rock and coming to me for the news, this is what it is. Starting July 2nd, black Kyrum and white Kyrum are changed from two movement points to three movement points. Whoa! Now you might be saying showtime, are you guys serious? Yes, they are serious. They are serious. So, the move from two moon points to three moon points, you guys know how I feel about that, right? And if you guys don't know, I'll go over it really quickly. Um, I feel if a figure has three moving points, it must, it must be imperative that the figure has the ability to hop over figures. Otherwise, there really isn't too much need for, need for two move to, for three movement points. Now there are some benefits. How uh, you cap the opponent's entry point, and now he's stuck on his goal because if he moves off of his goal, you're gonna just simply take the goal, right? That's one way. But outside of that, three movement points really doesn't mean much if you don't have the ability to hop over. But fortunately, black and white Kyrum do have the ability to hop over other figures mind blown so now you're gonna have some super mobile um pokemon on the field and you guys know that kirim and black kirim aren't megas they are not mega so they're not limited to the seven turn um um killjoy these figures can actually stay on the fit on the field for as long as they don't get knocked out now this is something i've been talking about for quite some time right i'm saying hey megas are cool for the game but not really because once you become a mega you really can't um you really can't stay on the field for a long time but black Kim and white Kim, they surpass that you know they're on the field for as long as they don't get knocked out so now you're gonna have three moon point pokemon that can hit for 140 without any chains yeah yeah, it's, it's gonna be a problem, it's gonna be a problem. So, are they gonna see some play? What are my speculations? Ah, I still think that normal Kyrum needs a buff, right? The normal Kyrum needs a buff. And this is why I say, right? The reason you wanna run white Kyrum and black Kyrum, you're gonna have to run them in a deck that have um normal Kyrum. But normal Kyrum, you're right now, you're stuck playing no normal Kyrum in probably ice decks, right? And ice decks are a little too much strategy for some folks. Some folks really can't pull it off. It is a lot of thinking. It's like several, second level and third level thinking. But what I think the fun may come into play is if they give Reshiram and Zekrom a buff. Now, they don't need a huge buff, right? 
they need a they need a buff like a passive buff a buff in the sense that you can buff Kirim Kirim's ability and I've been harking on this for quite some time have Kirim's ability if you have Kirim in the game it lets your Reshram and Zekrom clear their weight they do not start the game with a weight nine because the weight nine kills their joy because there's so many rush decks running rampant so if you run white Kirim, the only way i see really really playable is if they, they give Reshram and Zekrom a buff i've said this before but i'm going on record again this buff is good the two one point to three one point is good but how do you get there you get there by playing white Kirim and how and by playing normal Kirim and how do you get normal Kirim you got to run an ice deck now ice decks fun yes for higher level players but for folks that aren't into that much strategy let you play with the twin dragons you know the twin dragons were everybody's first love give the twins twin dragons a booth the weight nine was there back in the day because they were so powerful excluding was so new not too many figures could do it but now let's face it there's so many ways to like take figures off of the board you can send them to ultra space you can exclude with altaria you know there's spirit boom spirit tomb and spirit bomb there's there's many ways for you to ex exclude right now now diagonal might get a buff that it's looking at there's many ways to exclude so the weight nine it's time to get rid of the weight nine all right so do I see white Kirim and black Kirim being played? Possibly, but only, only if normal Kirim buffs Reshram and Zekrom. So in essence, the buffs to white Kirim and black Kirim are definitely welcome. I mean, the ability to hop over figures and stay on the field for more than seven turns, that's huge. So in the comments down below, guys, let me know how you feel. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, Go ahead and subscribe. It'll really help me out. And remember, Pokemon Duel is not just a game. It's a serious game. This is Showtime. Signing off. Peace, trainers.